Um, I've done the sky first in this one. What do you do next? Are you talking about the second painting? Yes. Yes. Well, I think that's the rule for most of these landscapes. You start with the sky. We just have a look at it. I was going to stop everybody in a minute, but we'll just have a look at it. Um, yeah, I, I would always start with the sky and work down on a landscape. So would you do that tree on the left? Next? No, because the rule with watercolour is you build up light. light to dark. Yeah. So the houses next? Yes, I'd start to get those the, these, these rooftops in and the houses. I think okay. I'd do that next. And also remember you've got this bit of grey blue which almost looks like the cloud colour but he's used it to suggest mm. you know distant mm. Mm. I don't know if you can see all that paint there but that's how I'm going to start the sky because I like to have a lot of wet paint, even if I don't use it all up, um, because then it means I don't run out halfway through. And I'm going to use all of this across the whole thing. I'm not going to dampen it. I'm just going to use it across the whole picture. OK. 
Okay. I'm, I've got two greys, a, a very light one, a slightly darker one, uh, for anybody that's interested. And I'm just going to drop a bit of grey onto the damp yellow, which I used initially on the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> now I'm going to, there's a shape that comes down here a bit. If you can still see it, maybe I'll go out a bit. Right. Now, I think he had to use a sponge as well. Let's try it. Bit of sponging where one colour meets the other colour. Just softening the edges so you don't get any edges. And then there's this big one in the middle which needs to go darker. So I'm, I'm working down to, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going down the bottom here a bit more by the houses. It's still nice and damp down here, so the colour will hope, hopefully automatically fuse together a bit. Again, I'm using my sponge just here and there to soften things off. Probably can't see very much because it's so pale, but okay, so that's that bit. And then I'm going to go back with the dark gray at the top. Now, this gray I've made has got quite a lot of alizarin and it's just uh, Prussian blue and, and alizarin. And it's a warm gray because it's going over the yellow. It will dry lighter as well. That's the other thing you have to remember. It seems to work quite well doing a bit of sponge work with this. And it doesn't matter if it goes into the into the tree area because that's going to be dark anyway. Now I think that probably I need some more, I need to increase my dark. For anybody that's watching. Mm -hmm. I 
making up a bit more dark grey. I don't like doing it halfway, but there's not much choice. <laughs> It's going to be too blue. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that's. It's a bit wet actually at the moment. After the hip dry a bit, it's a bit too wet at the moment. Can I don't know if you can see the lovely colours here, how they're all fusing together. Mm. 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 Uh, it's because it's so wet you know it's wet so that yes yeah it, it allows that to happen um but then you have to judge when you can put i can't put any more paint on at the moment because if i look at it sideways it's really shiny mm. when it gets to being not shiny but just sort of still damp then i probably could add a bit more of this dark bluey gray in you know there's of it down here as well that's almost ready so I could probably put a little bit in there yeah it needs a bit more you know a bit more dobs here and there you can always go back with your sponge and if you see sort of edges that look a little bit hard, just soften them off. Because the, the thing about the sky is there's no edges on the clouds, are there? They're, they just seem to sort of melt into each other. Mm. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. What did you mix up to get that grey? Prussian blue and... Prussian blue and crimson. Oh. And a tiny bit of gamboge. Yeah. But it's, if I had to name this grey, this is, I'll show you what this darker one is. Um, it's a very, you know, I would say those are warm, warm greys. They're not mm. yellow greys, they're more red greys, you know? That one's a bit more yellowy. Can you see that? Yeah. I, I mean, these couple colours are very subtle, but at the end of the day, if you can can get these other colours, it you know, especially in the sky, um, it mm. seems to work, you know. Mm, they look just good. And you I just practice a bit. I think that's what I would encourage you to do. You don't have to, you know, think about each piece as being a worth of art. You could just think of it as being a practice. And if you're not happy with it, you know, go on to another piece of paper and, and do another one, you know. Yeah. Or, or just take a section of it. I, you know, with um, the people at the almshouses, I used to get them to do a section from the top of the sky to the bottom of the picture, and they really like, enjoyed that. They, you know, the sort of it's quite challenging to do a whole big picture like this. Um, but I think you're all very perfectly capable of it. It's just a case of there are little subtleties that need to be appreciated. That's all. Anyway, I think it's time to for you to share with me what you've been doing. 
Um, I'm just going to put my paint out of the way. Um, I go around the room. <laughs> 